now we discuss uh, the reason for depreciation of Indian rupees. Uh, we we understand that uh, over a period of time, so when we uh, estimate when we calculate like uh, from uh, nineteen uh, ten to two thousand twenty to can find that as a uh, there's a gradual uh, decrease or weakening of uh, Indian rupees. Uh, so we can check the reasons for depreciation of Indian rupees. So uh, exchange rate uh, between two currencies is the rate at which one currency will be exchanged with another currency. So when we compare with the Indian uh, rupee with the US dollar. Uh, we can see uh, the weakening of Indian rupee uh, as compared to the US dollar. So the, 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 the exchange rate between Indian rupee and US dollar, uh, we can take it as an example. The spot exchange rate is the current current exchange rate. So now we can see that the current exchange rate between Indian uh, rupee and US dollar is like 76 rupees is equal to 1 US dollar. So the forward exchange rate is the exchange rate. So different type of exchange rate that is a spot exchange rate, the, the actual prevailing exchange rate that is uh, changing, uh, changing uh, minutes to minutes, seconds to seconds, uh, based on the demand and supply factors. And the forward exchange rate is the exchange rate which is quoted today, but delivery and payment settlement will be held on a specific future date. That's a forward exchange rate. So, uh, forward exchange rate is the exchange rate which is quoted today. It is a predetermined exchange rate, but its its delivery and payment settlement will be held on a specific future date. And a market-based exchange rate system is prevailing uh, in the world right now. So, a currency uh, tend to become more valuable when whenever there is a demand for it is greater than the available supply. So when whenever there is a demand for one currency, the you know uh, the exchange rate of that currency will be more as compared to the uh, a currency which is in less demand. So demand and supply factors are crucial to determine the exchange rate. So when we uh, take the example of US dollar and Indian rupee, the US dollar is mostly demanded as compared to Indian rupee, so that the market, you know, the exchange rate of Indian rupee is weakening or sinking over a period of time. So we are uh, having a floating exchange rate regime. So the breakdown of the Bretton Woods system in 1971 marked the beginning of floating exchange rate regimes. So the Bretton Woods system 1971 uh, breakdown, which was caused for the beginning of the foreign exchange. Uh, regime and now we follow the floating exchange rate system was happening after the breakdown of the Bretton Woods system in 1971. The focus was given to wide ranging reforms of widening and uh, deepening the foreign exchange market and liberalization of exchange control that was aimed at during that period. The foreign exchange rates are determined by the market forces and are based on the demand and supply of these currencies. So I just made this statement to, to create the background information uh, of the floating exchange rate system. So if supply exceeds the demand, the value of the currency depreciates. So if the demand exceeds the supply, you know, the currency is appreciating. And the supply exceeds the demand, you know, the currency is depreciating. That's a basic principle in which the, the foreign exchange market is running right now. So we can see a graph right now as comparing the US dollar and Indian rupee. You can see that in 1913, one US dollar is equal to 0 0.86 Indian rupees. That is, uh, the Indian rupee was strong during the period of uh, 1930. And 1925, it is uh, 0.1. And 1947, the, the, the year of uh, freedom to India, that is one dollar is equal to one rupee. So 1952, it, it started weakening, uh, then 1 US dollar is equal to 5 rupees. And 1966, 1 US dollar is equal to 7.5 rupees. 
and 1975 one US dollar is equal to 10.409 and it's it's come down in 1980 uh, due to some uh, you know the influence of the government during the time 1980 that is one US dollar is equal to 10.887 then you can see a gradual increase of appreciation of the US dollar in terms of the Indian rupee and it's 2000 2006 you can see that it is 48.336 then 2007 it is downward and uh, 2008 it's again increase and this you can see that a gradual increase of uh, US dollar as compared to Indian rupee and 2013 it is 61.25 by the remaining years I will show with the help of an, another graph and you can see that this 2011 to 2021 period, in 2011, you can see that the US, Indian rupee, I mean, uh, one US dollar is equal to 44 uh, Indian rupee, and uh, it's 2013, it is increasing, 2015, 2017, 2019, and 2021, and 2022, it is 76 and 77 rupees. So the Indian rupee is sinking. So we can say that it is sinking or it is weakening as compared to US dollar. So we can see uh, within a five year period it, it, it may touch up uh, 100. Okay, so that's the situation. So we can check the reasons for the rupee depreciation. There are several so many reasons for the uh, rupee depreciation. The first one is dollar on a strong position in the global market. So you can see that the global market currencies like uh, Japanese yen and Euro and US dollar, they are the dominating currencies. But in fact, out of these currencies, US dollar is dominating right now as compared to Euro uh, and other currencies. So that the people or the countries keeping reserves in terms of the US dollar, they are buying reserves. They are buying US dollars to keep it as reserve. Then a decreasing rate uh, Rating by rating agencies and slow growth projection by IMF. So the all countries looking for the rating agencies like Moody's rating, uh, sovereign rating, rating of countries, etc. So if any rating agencies or uh, uh, slow growth projection by International Monetary Fund of uh, a country, that means the currency of that current country may be depreciated. Then the pressure of increasing the current account deficit. You know, India is a historically a foreign uh, current account deficit country of course the country is in a developing state so that we are you know a lot of imports are taking place so that the current account position is uh, in deficit that may be one of the reason for the uh, i mean uh, depreciation of indian rupee the impact of commodity prices in global market uh, you know that's recently the war between ukraine and russia and the crude oil prices was uh, in the top so that might be causing another reason for the weakening of Indian rupee. So India, you know, uh, they, we are taking importing crude oil from the outside. So impact of these commodity prices on global market may cause uh, uh, depreciation of Indian rupee. And speculation from exporters and importers sites, there are a lot of speculation and the foreign exchange market is so strong in the world. So many speculation speculators are operating in the market. So they may hold on. They may buy in the U.S. dollar because it's fundamentally strong currencies like U.S. dollar, Japanese yen, and euro. That of course there is a demand for the fundamentally strong currencies. So due to this buying pressure, the other currencies, the weaker currencies, are again depreciating. Uh, so that may be a fact uh, in speculation from exporters and importers. These speculators, you know, they are holding this, uh, they are buying these fundamentally strong currencies. Then the another one is persistent inflation. So, you know, sometimes 8% to 9% inflation is happening in the country. So, this inflation may cause the weakening of the Indian rupee. And lack of reforms, of course, there is a lack of reforms. Uh, we would say that uh, the reforms are very, very uh, uh, short in, in terms of these maintenance of the exchange rate so we should have more reforms to keep up the indian rupee intact or as compared to other currencies we should keep maintain the exchange rate scenario
there are some other reasons uh, other than this this uh, like uh, already discussed that high commodity uh, prices as well as the outflow of foreign funds from equity market so this uh, might be another reasons having said that high commodity prices uh, due to this war between ukraine and russia and as well as the outflow of foreign funds uh, from equity market so a lot of uh, you know recently we were witnessed a lot of uh, fdi outflows uh, uh, due to this uh, nris and foreign direct investors this sell back uh, some of uh, their stocks and portfolios uh, so that was another reason and rising prices of crude oil again uh, along with other commodities triggered by the russia ukraine war as already discussed and it is a major point accelerated fia selling on the indian equity market so consequently the indian rupee touched a new record of low 77.02 it may predict like it's 78 79 and 18 recent near future so this indian uh, rupees position is uh, you know it's sinking actually so we can conclude that the depreciation of uh, rupee reduces the inflow of foreign capital so a country's a uh, home currency means indian rupees uh, is depreciating means the foreign uh, direct investors they may resist to come over here and invest so uh, also rise in the external debt pressure and also grows indians india's oil and fertilizer subsidy bills okay so this may be the consequences of this uh, rupee depreciation there are some positive impact depreciation you know of course the exports are uh, stimulating because because uh, the rupee the dollar is appreciating that means exporters getting more money so that the export may stimulate and import may discourage because of uh, because of loss to the import because due to this exchange rate fluctuations or weakening of indian rupee as compared to us dollar so that's a positive signal uh, you know uh, due to this uh, weakening of uh, uh, or depreciation of indian rupees that may help for the current account position but on the reverse side but in the long term you know again there is a problem but however we can see that even after the significant increase in the export uh, uh, sales uh, during this year indian companies are reporting huge foreign exchange losses due to the depreciation of indian rupee so so uh, the declines the overall profitability of indian companies so the in finally uh, the final outcome may be a, a different story even though there is a short run advantage of uh, a benefit by the exporters uh, due to this uh, depreciation of indian rupees but in long run you know it will affect their profitability so uh, that's conclusion of this uh, slide thank you